Hey everybody, I'm Stephen Wright, and I'm here to teach you how to have more fun in your kayak. Freestyle fundamentals number two. Edge control, rolling and bracing, and balance when on edge. The number one rule of all of these drills is that while I practice it in the flat water, I'm gonna turn my head, put my chin on my shoulder, and literally stare at the paddle blade that I'm working with. The two skills that we're gonna work on today will be the ability to balance with the boat on edge without having to brace so that we can use our paddle for leverage and we can use our body to actually make the boat go where we want it to go and the ability to reach out and brace when we do a trick that puts us off balance or we simply lose our balance. The ability to brace quickly on both sides is going to make you more confident going downriver and it means that you're going to stick a lot more tricks on the wave. Our first drill, just sit upright and snap the boat from one edge to the other as far as it will go. Notice, I'm not leaning my body out to the side to actually get the boat up on edge. I'm just lifting one knee aggressively and kind of pushing down on the opposite butt cheek. This is going to keep you balanced. Your weight should stay centered over the middle of the boat. Next, turn your chin. Look at the paddle blade in the direction you're going to reach. Hold the boat on edge. Try not to touch the paddle to the water and sit up, then lean forward with the boat on edge. Sit up again. Lean back with the boat on edge. Sit up nice and tall, always looking at the paddle you might need to brace with. The key here is to build up the balance skill to have the boat on edge with our body all over the place. You don't want to use your paddle to brace. We're building balance here. Realistically, almost anything you can think of to do in a kayak with the boat on edge will help to practice. Whether you want to paddle forward with the boat on edge, paddle backwards with the boat on edge, or sweep strokes with the boat on edge, building comfort with the boat on edge on both sides is only going to give you confidence and help you stay upright. Now let's practice getting the boat back upright and balanced after we've lost our balance using the brace. A brace is basically just a roll that we start before the boat is all the way upside down, and it's one of the most underrated skills in all of whitewater kayaking. The number one rule of brace practice is that I'm going to turn my chin and stare at the paddle blade I'm working with at all times. Never look away from it. To practice, lose your balance, reach the paddle out to the side, slap the water, use a good hip snap, and finish lying back with your body weight centered over the stern and your chin staring at the paddle blade. Practice it on both sides. Don't forget, stare at the paddle blade. Don't look away. If you look away from the paddle blade, you're going to find that your hips will lock up and you'll be dependent on pulling down on the paddle to lift your body the rest of the way out. For practice purposes, if you finish your brace looking anywhere other than at your paddle, consider it a fail, even if you get upright. The other way to mess up this drill is to lift your top hand instead of keeping the paddle flat to the water. This is going to let the blade sink, and it's going to become very difficult to actually use your hips and complete a good brace. Another thing to keep in mind is that as I practice bracing, I want to make sure that my elbow stays below my shoulder so that I'm not putting my shoulder in a vulnerable position. Even though I'm reaching way out to the side of the boat, and even though I'm lying back at the finish with my elbow low, my shoulders are going to stay happy and safe as I brace both in the flat water and downriver. The goal is to practice so that I can reach out and use just my hips to get the boat back upright without having to pull in the paddle much. Once you're good at this, you can flip all the way over and do a complete roll from this position. Once you can brace roll comfortably on both sides without thinking about it, you are ready to rock. Next up, try creating an unintentional brace by rocking the boat on edge and losing your balance on purpose. Try to do a good brace to finish it off. If you can do it in the flat water, you'll be able to do it on the wave. I'm Stephen Wright. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you on the river.